Alrighty folks, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the front brake pads on your uh, 2008 Chevy Avio LS. And we'll get to it. Alrighty, step one is going to be to jack up the car. Right here is the best jacking point on these cars. Under that lip, it's reinforced right there for a jack on all four corners. Step two is going to be remove the wheels. Now you can do your car one side at a time. I just jacked up both sides because it was easier. Whatever you get your uh, three quarter, three fourths socket. And if you got a wrench or your lug wrench or whatever, I got an impact. Take off the lug nuts. And I'll come back once I got the tires off. Alrighty, sometimes these tires will be a little tricky to get them off. See, I got the lug nuts off. Just set them to the side. And uh, I'm going to set the camera down here. You all can see. Sometimes I get stuck like this. You got to sit there and wiggle them. And sometimes you got to take a hammer to the back. Sledgehammer. Take it. Don't hit the wheel. You just hit the back of the tire. Turn it. There it goes. Just cut the wheel and just hit the tire, not the wheel. And uh, then you can pop it off there. I don't know how good that looked. I couldn't see the camera. But okay. Get the tire off. Hopefully I don't that ain't too trouble. Too much trouble. And then what you're gonna do is you get a bolt here and you got a bolt here. I'm gonna pull them out next. Let me take a breather for a second. Alright, sometimes this will work, sometimes it won't. Whatever you take a screwdriver and you stick it right here and press the uh piston you can see it moving there when I do that whatever you can press that uh piston back in sometimes you can stick it on uh this side and press the whole caliber forward but whatever I got a tool I normally do this with but I know if you are at home y'all ain't gonna have that special tool whatever you pry that back like that right there if you got a pry bar, it works too. I'm just using a screwdriver. What most common people have. But whatever. You can see up in there. But right there's the piston. You want that all the way back so you got room for your new brake shoes to go in there. And that'll make it easier on you when you go put the new shoes in. But I ain't took the bolts out yet. But now since I pushed that back. I'm gonna go ahead and put my new bolts in. I mean, I'm gonna take take them bolts out, and I'll show that. All right, I got my 14 millimeter socket ratchet. I'm gonna take these two bolts out right here. Sometimes you can just loosen the bottom one and remove the top one, and we'll see if this works. This will flip down, which this one, the, I don't want to pull that rubber deal out, so I'm just going to take them both out right here. When you pull your caliper off, you set it right here to the side, and then this shoe's going to come out on that side. There's nothing but metal. And make sure you get this old stuff out of the way. Whenever you pull that one out on the back side, and you want to make sure these things move like that right there. Make sure they're not stuck, because if they're stuck, it'll burn one brake shoe off every time. But alright, let me go get the new shoes, and I'll stick them in there. Alright, I got my new shoes right here. You always want to make sure the 
pad side, not the metal side, goes towards your disc right here. Like, it's gonna be like uh, this right here on both sides of that disc. So whenever you put one in on this side, and uh, obviously they can be a little tricky to get them in there. Just get them like that right there. And you notice this one has this. Now, I didn't see if this, this is your depth gauge. If this touches the, uh, if this touches the rotor, that means the brake shoes wore out. But I'm gonna put it on the back side and we'll see if that works because the old one didn't even have one. And then you take this right here after it's compressed. That's the piston I was talking about compressing right there. You stick it back on. If it won't go on, sometimes you can just wiggle it on there like this. Yes. See, maybe I get lucky on this one. If not, there's a special tool they got that sits in here and pushes that back up in there. But I'm gonna stick mine on. You have to take your finger and push those in. I don't know if y'all can see because my arm was in the way. But yeah, you push uh, push these right here back because they'll hang. Put them in. Basically put your two bolts back in. You don't have to break no line loose. You don't have to bleed nothing. Because you never open the brake system and got air in there. So everything should be good. Just repeat the same process on the other side of the car. Put your wheels back on. Like you took them off, make sure you tighten the bolts right here. Back up, you know, good and tight. And, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. Simple task. I charge about $20 a wheel to do this and the best part to ride the brake shoes. But yeah, and then just repeat everything on the other side with the other two shoes and uh, should be good to go. Well, I hope that video was help you, helpful to you for doing them brakes. And uh, yeah, y'all already go check out my channel. Hell, there's a bunch of other videos on there. I got a mud mower video, upcoming project. Just like and subscribe and check out the rest of the videos. There's some special tool videos and everything else. But hope this was helpful and appreciate you.